Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get this right back. We're going to get into that match right now. We just send it right back over to the commentator. It's time. It's definitely time for some Oral versus Fang. I know y'all got your opinions. No, you don't, because nobody knows how this matchup goes. It's rare to see two rare characters fight it out. I should say that Fang isn't so rare. We already have two Capcom Cup. However, Oro, way different story. We yes. might be seeing an Oro come through at the Cup. Might be Brian Epp, unless he is stopped. Because this is loser side, and this is top lane. Let's see, he's gonna take it. Man, yeah, this is crazy because I know for a fact that Toplin definitely wants to see uh, Nigel throw out the bracket and, you know, have like a friendly match, but you gotta get through Brian F first. And, you know, yep. Brian F is here to dominate. He wants to get into Capcom Cup. And, yeah, this is gonna be one of the matches where one of them will go home and one of them will proceed. Round one. one. I guess we're gonna learn the matchup as we go. Brian F. Toplin. And again, Brian up one of the bigger picks to do it. Had fell short to Maggie Grow. See if Topper can end the job. Right now, he's top in the corner. Jumping is denied with the anti reply. The crouch communicate again, covering so much range for this character. Oh, there we go with the first EXCP of the match. Oh, yep. Look at all that life lead, too. Brian F is not scared at all. He wants to keep pressuring. Mm. Oh, oh, no, on the way down, but still is able to get a uh, punish. Reset into grab. Nice. And what's so great is that Top was looking for that activation off the sweep, and Brian took him off his feet with the jump in. Wasn't the best one, but still gets it done. I like how he's looking out for these options on the side of Top one. Now here's Top one getting a little bit more aggressive with the round start situation and the throw in the corner. It should oh be, they were talking gosh. about that analysis test. Yeah, yeah, that was to, just to get through the fireballs too and to side switch. That is a smart move from Brian. Gets again, locking him down that. Look at him, he's just sitting there. He's like, yeah, I would rather take the grab than to guess whether I can press a button here. Absolutely. Yo, that jumping light kick actually caught the sleeves. And now caught in the corner, DP. Plus, plus, looking for the V-reversal. Mm, mm, mm. Yo, what is it, season two? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, with the, with the Laura, Laura needs. Laura needs? But why'd she have that? <laughs> I shouldn't be asking you because you're a Laura player. Hey, we, hey, we watch it, Oro <laughs> and Fong. I know I brought it up, but that, that's, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Oh, activation. Oh, here we go, Tengu Stones. Oh, v reverse. Oh, oh no, catches it. Yeah, I think that's looking like he a is hit. done. Done and dusted. Unfortunately, like, you want to get out of the situation. You don't want to be caught up against the Stones, but the v reversal Oral escape option wins. put him in the corner and caught him leaving with the activity of the Stones yeah. to find the finish. Brian F with the first win. And now you see the pain of dealing with that feature in position. That is it's such a strong option. If you try to leave, it's still going. It's still, it's flowing. still going. What I do kinda, you do? Yeah, because like, I kind of like the idea of just trying Round to like one. be reversal and try to kind of like sit one. there and block it. Because you're, when you're doing be reversal, you're also help depleting the uh, B trigger meter that Brian has activated. So I like the idea, but let's see if Toplin can get around that again. Brian's going for a, jumping, a lot of jumping light kicks, and I like it. It's been working out against his character when he goes for the coward crouch. So you can see some of this like matchup knowledge coming through from Brian F. Again, jumping light kick this time, anti-air. Top one, keep in the corner. He yeah, chicken feet again. Yep, here we go. Yummy chicken feet. Top one said it's not good to eat. Mm -hmm. Denying that. Oh. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Oh, I kind of like the little double jump, just kind of like get back to action here. Doesn't want to miss a spot. That B skill, build up that B bar. Or I should say, just locking him down. You already have B trigger, so we need it. The B bar building up once again. Look at the beautiful situation. Or a follow up combo Bro! like this. EX, I think he's dead. TP, yes, sir. That was Brian. Sick. I like that little uh, initiation like in the middle where Brian just kept throwing fireballs over and over again because it was progressively pushing Toplin into the corner. Once he was able to get a hit with the big blue fireball, it was over. It was looking like the tempo's kind of hard to deal with for the likes of Fang, maybe. But Ron Sart looked like it was not too bad for top one. As he pushes him in the corner, not too terrible. You just can't let a character like Oral get going to form with that B skill. There's the throw, top one adding on in terms of damage. Almost got the stun. He'll Here get it done. Oh, look at that. We've like we actually seen this round beforehand where like he's just inching him down with poison over and over again. Toplin, looking like a menace here. Absolutely. Purple like a grimace. Socks to put the beast skill again. Round start. We see Brian Whoa. go for some different trying to get the air throw, but with and too far out with it. I just realized that Oro has a double jump and Fong has just kind of like the glide. The little, the yeah. little float, the flappy bird. Man, these two characters are wonky, but I love it. <laughs> I like fighting them though, I'll tell you why. <laughs> just the, the many options that they have. 
with, with, with Bang, it's just like the mix that he has. It doesn't kill you. It's just a, a death by a thousand cuts. With Brian, it's obviously, you know, for Aura, he took it too. Heavy kick on him. I'm assuming Tekken right there. Oh, Bishop, that's such a perfect answer too, especially that he's poisoned already. He does not want to add more poison, more damage. V-Skill. Mm -hmm. Walk him down. V-Skill again. This is the best position. This this sort of like zone, this sort of element right here is hard. The top one to stop. Yeah. Oh, oh I thought he was going to top with the medium. I think we saw counter hit, and that may have actually clipped before it came out. Oh, my God. Okay. So I thought maybe once Brian F, he activated Beecher, I thought maybe he might have done, or like he could have done like super. Like, 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 like this is just maybe. my opinion. Like, I don't think Brian F like could, could have done that, but maybe he might have been too far. Like, just thinking about it. Oh, just it, to get like the super right through. Yeah, the super right through. Yeah, because yeah, like, like activate V-Trigger. Yep, super, and then boom. Top one's done. You also saw him trying to like anti-air the jumping meter kick or the jumping button from, from top one, right? Yep, yep. But yep. it's just a little bit too late for the meter punch to come out. Like Brian had the right idea, just the wrong timing. That could have been so different now. Top one, Brian, both game to game. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. We got some damage in. We take those. You see that Tatsu also bringing you closer? Like the, the it's almost like a suck on Max, like that. It moves you close for a strike throw. You're so worried about either option. Man, that's so nice because even if Brian gets hit by his projectiles, his fireballs are still out there. Because mm -hmm. I know for like lockers, or let's say like for Laura, when she gets hit, her fireball is extinguished immediately. That's a good thing. That's a good point. See the Vera Russell punish himself from top of, but however, he did put up in the corner. Five to DB. Oh, one more hit and the chicken yeah, feet. Yeah, chicken feet. Good to say, If he had bar, he would have definitely killed that. But I kind of like chicken feet. Chicken feet's pretty good. Have yeah. you ever had chicken feet before? I actually, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It's okay. It's, okay. it's, it, okay. it's, it's, it's a very unique food item for yeah. sure. I mean, I, you know, my people like it, but I just like chitlins. I don't, I don't, I don't mess with. It. I don't mess with. It. But I do <laughs> mess with Brian F. Get these confirms of the EX. Doesn't go for the corner set situation, but this is still good. Keeps it nice and close. These medium kicks, plus frames. Oh, maybe on the other side. Fierce. Move it. If you can establish this game with the V skill, it's gonna be harder for Top One to come through. Oh, there we go. V trigger activation, especially coming off from that flip there. Brian did not want to press the button afterwards. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looking bad, EXCP. There we go. Get off me. Activation. Oh, the button didn't reach. Top of murder for damn dear life. He's in. Ooh, yep, the grab. Low. He's still alive. Yep, Tengu Stone still alive here. There it is! Tengu Stone! Brian F was able to scoop him in the air. I wonder if it would have just been better just to hold the throw in that situation, though. Four the four media punch catching him before he left off the ground going down. Unfortunate Brian F. Man. Shows you what you do if you panic against the stones. Yeah, definitely, because Toplin definitely wanted to, like, possibly one of the Tengu Stones. He was definitely mm. juggling him out there. But Toplin, of course, going 1-2 over Brian F. Still got game, still got time to figure out what he needs to do against Brian Zoro. The stones are too powerful. You got to be careful with that anti right there with the Crouch Fierce. Brian F. chooses something different with it. And the DPs against some of these throw baits are fantastic in terms of the defense. What's top? What's offense like? Oh. oh, man. Look at that crazy corner carry, too. Just like that. His anti damage is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Just the medium? Ridiculous. Oh, interruption on the start of the fireball. Look at all that damage that Toplin's putting on Brian. Catch him away. You are staying right here. But we got a way to activate Tengu Stones. Like the side switch. Yo. Escape option right here. Locked down with the V skill again. Fireball position. Trying to catch him lacking. No tech though from Toplin. He's blocking everything. The knees. Fierce. You know that bar at the bottom? Yeah, Brian spinning some for the EX. Bro, we are big chilling right here. Toplin having the best composure so far. Brian just trying to find ways to break his defense. Oh, oh that could have been it, but it was just maybe like that weird hurt box that I was talking about. It's mm -hmm. really hard to hit him when you go in. It would have jumped fierce would have worked. False the fireball, though. Still not that bad. B skill trade. Not a bad not Man. bad trade for Toplin, but now he's caught in the corner. The throw. And oh, the that meaty. The ashy knees right again, right out the shower. Right out the shower. Make sure you put lotion, okay? No, oh, not not oral. Not this guy. <laughs> you like it that way. Oh, the sweep and play. Oh, same. Yo, I got hit. Holy cow. He's going for these ticket throws like light in the in the standing heavy kick. It's catching Brian off this game continuously. That's like the third time or second time we've seen it. Yep, chicken feet again. We've been seeing that so many times. It's so successful. 
Yep, jump on the fireball. That's gonna be some free damage for top lane, but Brian returning the favor. Yikes! Oh! D-ship. Yeah, goes for the break. I don't mind that option. You want to keep nice and close and personal so you can utilize those meter kicks with plus frames. The reversal again, gray lot heavy on the side of top lane. That fireball did a ton of damage. He did get the jump here, oh, so no. the combo. You see him commit with it too. He thought he had it. Yep, yep. Oh, I really like the back dash. Oh my god, it could have been the bar just to close it out. The jump, Whoa! right kick, <laughs> neutral jump. Brian M taking down top lane. What an Bro. option. We have seen that jump light like, kick continuously throughout the set and it connects, taking down top one in a neutral situation. Brian F, studious and studied in this match, slapping down top one out of the tournament. He is out, but I got to say, great thing play from the likes of my boy. Bro, Tyler. he came in like Mary Poppins like that. Like, mm. Children, <laughs> you're free. Man, that, that was really good. And just to see how Brian's able to um, not abuse, like, you know, the double jump and just kind of like figuring out, oh, if I can't hit Fong in that like really weird hitbox, maybe I could just like do like that weird like jump balance and like just go yeah. in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but man, that is so crazy. But I think we have a word from our analysis to see what they think about that matchup. That's my father right there. Yes, sir. That's yes, father. sir. That's Brian. Yeah. Good stuff to Brian with that oral. That oral play was phenomenal. Mm. Yeah, I man. Love it. Excellent clutch it out, man. Utilizing that double jump, like it, like we said, and then we, like I said, we haven't seen the chicken tea a, a lot <laughs> throughout this tournament until now. And he's absolutely just completely using it to be able to either close the gaps or finish off rounds. Uh, man, <laughs> just complete great play by Brian F. Moving on. Yeah, I think I think also a lot of his matchups tied with the chicken feet as well because. If you remember, like, Chicken Feet is, especially EX, is a projectile against Yes. Field, and Fang is a projectile character. So mm -hmm. you can realize a bit more, but, you know, Brian Wan definitely wants that slow play. He wants to chill, relax. Especially when he had feature, even, yeah. he can just say, I'm going to just throw out these skill firewalls. I'm going to just throw firewalls. Yeah. I'm not going to do too much. Yeah. And, you know, his, bullet hell. Yeah, his conversions were sick. It's just, like, a little bit of everything was pretty nice. He understood Fang pretty well, especially uh, he played Mono, of course. Yeah. No shots Mono. Yeah, absolutely. So, played Mono at Red Bull Kumite. Yeah. And that's why I figure, like, even though a lot of people haven't seen this matchup uh, before, uh, if you watch Red Bull Kumite, that absolutely came up. So, and yeah, Brian didn't win it. But Brian won by accident. If he, if he, <laughs> if he <laughs> catches you, I promise you, he will say, I won by accident. It was an accident. But Nah, you take those, bro. 